Hey guys, welcome to Kluge Tech Time. I'm David, and today we are talking about the latest and greatest from DJI. Is it a brand new drone? Stick around, we'll tell you all about it. Hey guys, well thanks for sticking around. Today we're talking about DJI's latest and greatest that they just released today. It's not a Phantom 5, it's not a Mavic Pro 2, it is a Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0. Yes it is. Uh, and no, they didn't have a press release. No, they didn't do any fanfare for it. It is just a minor update to the Phantom 4 Pro line. I think they're gonna sell a ton of these though because they made two updates that people are really going to love. All right, so for the first one that they did was they did basically the Mavic Pro Platinum uh, updates to the Phantom 4 Pro. So they have updated the electronic speed controllers and the propellers in a very similar fashion to what they did for the Mavic Pro Platinum Edition. That is, uh, they made it so that it's going to be quieter and more efficient. Now, DJI claims that it's going to have a four decibel decrease in the noise. And remember, four doesn't sound like a whole lot, but decibels is kind of like uh, logarithmic. I'm not really the mathematic, but basically each point is a whole bunch quieter. So four decibels is actually pretty significant. So that is very cool. And that's a combination of updated propeller design as well as the ESEs, that electronic speed controller and the way that those work. So uh, that's going to be great. Quieter is always good in my opinion, especially when you got a big boy like the Phantom. Uh, it already attracts enough attention. The less attention, the less noise it puts out, the better in my opinion. So good on DJI for making that update. Now those are also quick release propellers. So there's no more of the uh, spinning and spinning and spinning and all that kind of stuff. They are quick release propellers, so that is good. Uh, now the other update that they have made for the Phantom 4 Pro version 2 is that it is no longer using Lightbridge technology for the communication between the remote control and the aircraft. It is now using OccuSync 2.0. So for those of you guys who know the DJI lineup, the Phantom 4 line has been using Lightbridge for some time. I don't know the technical details of it. I'm sure someone out there can, can explain the details of what's different between Lightbridge and OccuSync and Wi-Fi and all that stuff. I'm gonna try and look into that at some point in the future, but just to understand OccuSync is actually better. That's what is in the Mavic Pro and only the Mavic Pro up until now. Now the Phantom 4 Pro version two has OccuSync 2.0. So it's the new version of OccuSync. Now there is one really important update to the OccuSync protocol that they're implementing with this is that it uses dynamic channel selection. So in the past, even with OccuSync, uh, it just selects one channel, basically at the beginning of your flight, one frequency that you're flying on, and it sticks with that. With this now, it's dynamic channel and dynamic frequency selection. So you might be a thousand meters down the road with your aircraft 400 feet up in the air, and it's constantly dynamically selecting what is the right signal to be using to get the maximum reach and the maximum uh, uh, transmission back to your remote control. So that is very cool because what might be best right here, right in this area, may be a little bit different once it gets out in the air and gets, gets, or gets up in the air, or gets out. So that is very cool. Now, with this update to using OccuSync instead of Lightbridge, what that also does is that also enables the goggles to be much more integrated. The DJI goggles are now much more integrated with the Phantom platform. So for those of you guys that are out there that really know how the kind of DJI ecosystem works, we, we know that with the Mavic Pro and OccuSync, the goggles just work really well with that platform. They, they work really well with the Phantom lineup and other ones as well. But with OccuSync, you can do it wirelessly. It doesn't have to be connected with a wire to your remote control, and it just makes it much easier having OccuSync. And so with the Phantom 4 now using OccuSync 2.0, it now gets that same capability to be able to wirelessly use the uh, DJI goggles. So I think that even though these are fairly minor updates to the Phantom 4 lineup, quieter, more efficient, and having a better signal. That OccuSync, I think is gonna be really, really popular. 
I think maybe people who already have a Phantom 4 Pro maybe probably aren't going to be selling theirs and, and buying this. I don't know, if you got extra cash, maybe they are. But I think for the most part, this is really, for those people who've been waiting, I think they're kind of, I think this is kind of their signal. The next Phantom is going to be a ways down the road. So they're gonna upgrade to this. I would love to get my hands on one of these. Uh, if you guys are somewhere around the Cincinnati area and you're planning on buying one, I would love to meet up with you and take a Phantom 4 Pro version 2 for a flight with you. Check it out. So that is the Phantom 4 Pro version 2. It's a light upgrade, but I think that also tells us that the Phantom 5 is probably going to be a little bit further down the road than maybe some were hoping but that's fine. I think this is going to really kind of hold people off. The Phantom 4 Pro was already a fantastic drone, the best thing out on the market in its segment already. This just takes it that extra step up and it's going to be, I think, very popular. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the content that we're putting out, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you know when I'm putting out new videos. Uh, I got a whole lot planned for us. Uh, I was a little bit slow in getting out some recent videos because of some other stuff going on, but I am planning to get a whole lot of content out to you guys very shortly. Uh, so hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see you on another video soon. If you guys are looking to buy a DJI drone or accessory, I would love for you to use my affiliate link in the description down below. Helps me to be able to keep this channel running, put out more content, get more stuff to review, and put quality content out there for you guys. So hit that subscribe button. If you're buying something, use the affiliate link down below. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys watching and hope you have a great one. See you soon.